Ladies and gentlemen, elves, dwarves, hobbits, and all free creatures of Middle Earth, welcome. Today you are here because you've been invited to witness the beginning of a beautiful fellowship. Terry Jackson Garland III and Jolene Fettenheimer stand before each other today to share in an adventure of a lifetime, marriage to one another. As Tolkien says in one of his poems, not all those who wander are lost. Sometimes, from the perspective of the world, one can seem to be wandering aimlessly, while truthfully, there is strength and wisdom in the road less traveled, seasoned by many trials and tribulations on their own and together, TJ and Joe are wiser together for it. And if there is anyone here today who believes these two should not be wed, you will not speak. Throughout my life, I have seen love expressed in many different forms, from always being within arm's reach and holding hands while watching TV, to nicknames and inside jokes, unique ways of saying I love you, and an equation I finally understand. One plus one equals one. But it wasn't until you that I felt love, true love. In the past seven and a half years together, we have experienced great triumphs, overwhelming joy, and literal disaster. But out of the ashes grew a love I never realized I was capable of experiencing. <laughs> Terry Jackson Garland III, you make me laugh more than I ever thought I could. And I vow to keep laughing even when it's hard and I don't want to. <laughs> you make me feel safer than I ever thought possible. And I vow to continue to trust you even when I struggle. <laughs> you give me a strength support and, a, and spark a drive I never realized I had. And I vow to always support you in your dreams and remind you that you are just as amazing as you make me feel. <laughs> Seven and a half years ago, on the back deck of a haunted house, <laughs> I was told to sit next to you and be your friend, just hang out for a bit. And now I stand here becoming your wife and I vow to always stand here by your side as your wife, your friend, your partner, and your babes. And above all, I vow to continue to love all of you with all of my being. I love you, my dear one, always. Joe, sugar bear. <laughs> Ever since we've been together, you've always been by my side. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, through sickness and in health. I know without a doubt I'm a better person, having you in my life supporting me. And I want you to know today that I promise to continue to love you as you've continued to love me. And I will continue to strive to be the best husband I can be. I promise to do my best to notice and acknowledge the positive things that you do, rather than get hung up on the negatives. I promise to accept that we are different, that we will see the world differently, and over the course of our marriage, we will have, want different things. Though I don't expect this to be easy, I will strive to be open-minded and loving about the way that you see things. To release my end of the rope when we're at a tug of war. I promise to not ask you to change in ways that I'm unwilling to change. I promise to not take your annoying behaviors personally. <laughs> even though I really, really wish you'd stop hitting the snooze button. <laughs> I promise to drop my expectations of your becoming the woman I want you to be as opposed to the woman you are focus a lot more on my shortcomings and a lot less on yours. I promise to forgive both of us for having not known from the start how to be the kind and generous partners we've finally become. I'll always challenge you and motivate you 
to be greater than you were the day before because I believe in you and I see that you have the potential to do anything you put your spirit to. And because you constantly do the same for me. I'll always be your personal heater so long as you're near and I'm and you're cold. I promise to do my best to pick you up when you're down, to be a light for you in dark places, when all the lights go out. I'll do my best to listen to your advice and occasionally take it. <laughs> you know me better than anyone else in this world. You see me at my best and you see me at my worst. And somehow still you manage to love me. I'm still amazed to this day that I'm the one who gets to marry you. I want to grow old with you. <laughs> Wedding rings are symbols of the journey taken together, a completion of one story and the start of another, forged by the fires of compassion, compromise, and love, not to be easily destroyed. TJ and Joel have given themselves to each other by the promises they have exchanged. In the name of God, I pronounce them husband and wife. Amen.